Hi, everybody. It's Lisa from Sweet and Sassy Treasures. I am so happy that you are here. I am using this paper by Roy Cycle Treasures, and it is called the Manufactured Heart. And I'm going to use clear liquid patina, but I want to get this about to size first. So in case you missed it last week, I'm going to show you what I did with each one of these cards. So I used the antiquity stamp, which is this one right here. So fun. But then I ended up using adornment as well. Uh, Tim Holtz, vintage photo distress ink, walnut stain, and... Walnut Stain Distress Oxide, I use. but then I use this Black Starless Sky. I'm going to use a little rooster. So I'm going to put that this way. So I'll do a horizontal one. So some you want to do horizontal and some you want to do landscape, but I'll talk about that too when we're laying them out. So this is cool, right? But once I add this trimming piece from adornment, we get a whole nother vibe going on with it. God, I so love this so much. So I got this and because I want it to look antique, I'm going to take the vintage photo so I got that on there okay then this is the walnut stain and I'll just go heavier along that edge And I think that's beautiful, but my paper has a hint of like a navy blue in it. So this is the black starless sky, and it also has a hint of navy blue. I'm just, and then I brought this in. It's so pretty. I don't know if you can see that color right there. But it is like a midnight blue. So I just love that. It looks like it was tucked away in somebody's book. Maybe yep. they were using it for a bookmark. And a hundred years later, I bought it at an estate sale. Yep. <laughs> going to mix a rust color so there's my layered chocolate and I'm gonna pull some summer crush into it 
and I'll have different values of it, you know. And now I'll start going over the top of that. Perfect. Okay. This is the fun part. All right. The express glue just dries really quickly and it's got like a fine tip. But I got, these are just regular old upholstery nails. And I'm trying to use a smaller hammer, which is not going to cut it. So I'm going to turn, I'm going to put this on mute, you guys, while I do this. So just figuring out where I want these, kind of like that right there. Oh, I like that. I want to put that there. I like that a lot. I have one, two, three, four, five, six horizontal. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten vertical is what I have. The last thing I'm going to do is take some black chiffon lace and pull it into my paper. All right, so this is black chiffon lace. And this has been um, big tapped. So I'm just pulling this in, scrubbing it a little bit. And it doesn't, because I've got big top on there, it's not doing a lot, but it's doing enough. Let me see if you can see. Let's zoom in just so you can see the depth of everything here. Mm -hmm. 